Hello, and thanks for tuning in. Last night, Mr. Santa Elon visited me in the night, and me the version 11, model three, software update. There we go, version 11. It's completely changed the display. It's not as cluttered up there now. And we can, you can make your own menu now, because if you press that button there, there's all your little apps. And for those of us use certain apps and don't use others that is absolutely fantastic for example if you send a lot of messages you can bring that down there there we go get rid of that and that'll stay there though make your own menu down the bottom there we go you see bring your music up there entry mode there the camera view and we have a new well, we know. I've got to work this out. There's the toy box. There's the light show, which you can see in a new video. We have the megaphone. So if I wind the window down. If I activate the megaphone. And now when I talk, I'll move the microphone. I'm your Yeah, we'll turn that off. Put the microphone back there. What else do we have? There's all sorts in here. We've got arcade. In the arcade, we now have, when it works, Sonic the Hedgehog. If you're into that sort of thing. The usual Netflix news. They haven't changed. Tesla tutorials. I think that's new. I've not noticed that before. We also have in the main menu in safety. I think it's in safety. So I've got to get used to it now because it's all moved about. Everything's moved about. Owner's manual. We have the car wash mode in there. Seat and steering wheel calibration. If you press the, the seat one, make sure you're not sat in it because it'll go full extremes. There's the display. I'm trying to find the sentry mode. Locks. There we go. Walk away door lock. And autopilot. Well, we know I'm trying to find this entry mode one. Charging screen has changed as well. The graphics have changed. Pedals and steering. That's your standard acceleration comfort modes. Now then. Trips. Yeah. The one thing I don't like is the cards that appeared here that you can swipe left and right for your trips have gone. That's annoying that now. Now you've got to go into the trips. Also, the um, that uh, temperature is now permanently on, on both. If you want to access the menu, you have to swipe it up. So it's now two buttons to do the demist. I don't like that at all. It was better off when it was one. There's plenty of room for them. I just can't move them down because there's nothing there in the apps. Hopefully that'll, that'll change and they'll allow us to put d miss buttons down there because as you can see, there's plenty of room. You can only put four of these here. So if I try another one, it gets rid of the first one. I don't want that. So, no, it's not much good that. Get rid of that one. You see, there's plenty of room to add more. So I, I think they're probably going to do something else down here. We've now got automatic heated seats. They base their heating on the ambient temperature of the car. Or you can turn it off auto and do it manually if you want to. Let's leave it on auto. There we go. It's on auto on, on number three. Yep, it's changed quite a bit. On the navigation menu, you'll notice there's no Superchargers showing. You have to press navigate and charging for them to appear. We also have if I navigate to say Cali. We can also add press that button there and we can add stops. I'll put that one in. I now told it I want to go there as well. 
So waypoints is very handy, especially when you're going on a long trip. You can edit your trip, add more, anything you want to change. Cancel that. We don't need that now. Yeah, apart from that, there's not much change really. You've got the new light show and a few toys. It does um, scroll along when it's playing. I can't play it now, obviously, for copyright reasons. But when you're playing, it does scroll along, which it didn't do before. So that's another update. But some of it's good, some of it's not so good. I don't like the double press for the um, demist. I like to get in the car and just go boom when it's on. But now, hopefully, they'll allow us to move these icons down here as well in another future update. So that's just a quick look at the new V11. All the fonts have changed. The speedo is actually if I yeah, I'm gonna move that away a minute while I put my pin number in. Right. There we go. See the cards. It's whinging because I've not got my seatbelt on. Get rid of that. Well there used to be a card appear there. So you can have your trip appear and leave it there, but not anymore, which is a pound, isn't it? I find a bit annoying. The speedo has shrunk slightly. The regen and power bar is increased, and the PR and the ND has moved. But yeah, other than that, that's about it really. There's not too much extra. We go in the um, software on the release notes. Oop, you're going to work. There we go. Oh, she's going to work eventually. But, um, no, there we go. There's the light show. You can customise the app launch apps at the bottom, which is down here. Extra, con oh, yeah. If you want trips, you've got the controls and trips which is an extra button press, whereas before it was just a swipe. Oh, here's another new feature, blind spot cameras. If I indicate left, I get a blind spot get view on the right hand side. Well, I like that, that's handy, but it's, 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 it's slightly obscure down here. It needs to be moved over. There's the edit the waypoints. And the next big one is sentry mode, live camera view. So you, on your on the app on the phone, you can now view sentry mode camera views live from anywhere. So if you've got your parked up somewhere and you want to check on your car before you get back, just go in the app and have a look around the cameras. Have a look around the car. That's handy. So the boombox megaphone, Sonic the Hedgehog. They've added a multiplayer support for the Battle of Polytopia, which I've never played. I've never intention of doing. Sudoku, if you like playing the puzzles. Improvements to the subwoofer, the usual cold weather improvements, automatic seat heaters, you can manage the dash cam clips now in the screen. We have a dark mode, I don't know what that is, I'll do that in a second. And we can hide some map details, because it does get a bit cluttered from time to time. So dark mode, controls, display and appearance. Controls, display and appearance is there. So if we go on dark mode. Oh, there we go. There's dark mode. That's just night time, I think. Controls, display, auto. We'll go back to day view. Anyway, that's just a brief look. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope they change some of the features soon. Right, we we'll bring back the trips around there because I don't like having to go like that and then like that. Because that's me, leaves me maps gone. I want the trip there all the time. So that is just rubbish, to be honest. You can't move it. It's no won't go anywhere. No, it's no good. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye for now.